My name is Nicola Inglis. I'm the programme lead for the MSc Diabetes Best Practice and I'm also Associate Professor here in the Faculty of Medicine. So my job splits into three main roles. I'm the programme leader for the MSc, so I do lots of teaching. Secondly, I'm the lead for mentoring the Faculty of Medicine. And the third role I have is in research. This programme is really suitable for a whole range of health professionals and this is because when you work in the NHS you come into contact with people with diabetes all the time. So it would be suitable for doctors and nurses who are both hospital based and community based, for dietitians, podiatrists, pharmacists, the list is almost endless. Professional bodies such as Diabetes UK have highlighted that we really need to upskill our workforce so that they're able to cope with people with whole host of problems with diabetes and they've particularly mentioned psychosocial aspects of diabetes, paediatrics and nutrition. And as far as we're aware we are the only MSc in the UK that provides all three areas of teaching as separate modules. The other thing that's unique is we really give, we focus hard on giving the students the study skills they need to complete the MSc and I think that's really important because you may be a health professional who's not been in education for a long time and it's quite a big jump to come back in and undertake teaching again. So one of the strengths of this programme is that much of our teaching is carried out by our local clinical colleagues in the NHS. The students will have improved knowledge and skills so they can improve patient care in the future but as well as that, the students may experience better job prospects, they might actually want to change roles and specialise in diabetes after taking the MSc, and of course one or two of them will want to continue a career in research after they've tasted their dissertation module. So one of the things our MSc students tell us is that they really like our real life practical projects that we use as assessments. So for example, we might ask them to design a leaflet to explain what diabetes is to particular groups. And I think that application to real life right now is really important to our students. So diabetes research in Southampton is a really exciting stage. We're quite a diverse group of researchers and we're based in medicine as well as health sciences. We research things like uh, psychosocial aspects of diabetes, in particular Richard Holt with depression. We look at um, areas such as uh, the metabolic syndrome and non-alcoholic fatty liver disease with Professor Christopher Byrne. And I have a lovely research team who look at microvesicles and we're looking at how they interact in, uh, as biomarkers for disease, how they're involved in blood clotting and also how they might be important in diseases such as diabetes. I've actually just presented some poster on diabetes at Diabetes UK looking at how uh, liver function is compromised and how that might be related to microvesical concentration in the blood sample.